Hi folks, I'm going to walk you through four demos using KubeSphere DevOps, including binary to image, SaaS to image, a Jenkins file based pipeline, and create a pipeline using graphic panel. At first, let's get started with creating a BGI, which automatically produces ready to run container image from binary package, then push it to the target registry and deploy it to the Kubernetes cluster. Let's create a service and choose the war as a service type. Click it to upload an artifact package. Enter the target registry you want to push. Then fill out the container information in this table. At this point, let's verify the created resources. We can find the job, deployment, and service are created. Now let's verify the real-time build log in Image Builder. Okay, the BTI builds run successfully. Boom! Now we can access the Tomcat service in our browser. Second of all, let's continue to demonstrate source to image. S2I is a toolkit and a workflow for building reproducible container images from source code. This is a Java sample application in GitHub. Again, let's create a service and choose a service type. You just need to paste the URL of your repository. Enter the target registry you want to push. Now it's quite easy to access the sample service. OK, let me show you the third demo, creating a Jenkins file-based pipeline in QSphere. Again, let's create a pipeline in DevOps project. Use the token to connect with Git repository. Fill out the information of pipeline settings. We can see the pipeline is running. At this point, you can easily verify the real-time running status of the pipeline. And next, you can see the testing result of code quality analysis in Web Console. You can also inspect the logs in each stage. This is very useful to debug the pipeline. Now we can verify the Java sample application. OK, let's move to the last demo. Create a pipeline using graphic panel. Again, create a pipeline in DevOps project. Then fill out the pipeline settings. Now we can see the graphical editing panel. Pretty good. It helps you to create a pipeline in drag and play without writing Jenkins file. This is very developer friendly. You can choose the Jenkins plugin you want. Everything is done. Let's run the pipeline. Wait for seconds, then verify the generated resources. OK. Let's access the Java sample application in our terminal. Cheers! And now for the recap, we have demonstrated four use cases in KubeSphere. Do not hesitate to install KubeSphere in your environment.